Hey everyone, hello, good evening, and welcome to the session. Now, this is a free internship session by 360DHMG. 360DHMG's contribution to the data world. So, let me start this session by congratulating you. Congratulating you for what? Congratulating you for choosing to upskill in your career, uh, your career in the field of data analytics and data science. Now, we all know upskilling is not easy and people give up when they try to upskill. But you are chosen to upskill yourself and that's the reason you deserve congratulations. So yes, congratulations, big, big congratulations to all of you. Now, what is this session all about? As we already discussed, this is about free internship. Now, why is this required? Why is this free internship required and why are we having this program? Basically, you might be in your college or you might have studied data science or you might have studied in your college of or basically uh, online or so. Now, what happens is uh, if we have that experience, the theoretical experience, theoretically and practically, there's a lot of difference, right? So whatever you read in theory is completely different or most of the part is completely different from practicals, right? Now, when we talk about practicals here, you will learn it here when you're doing all these projects, right? So this, will, this project will help you to bridge the gap between the theoretical world and the practical world, right? The theoretical knowledge you have and the practical experience that you'll get, right? Now, Let's talk about this particular project. When we talk about this particular project, there will be two phases as a part of internship. Now, the first phase will be learning phase. Of course, you must have learned these concepts before too. But as a part of this project, you will brush up these concepts, right? You learn Python, you will learn SQL, you learn data preliminaries. Of course, if you already know that, you'll revise Python, SQL data preliminaries. And uh, ultimately, you will be giving assessment. Now, the question is, how will you learn this? What you need to do to be a part of this particular internship? What you will do is, you have your part of a community, of course, and you will be getting a Google form that you have to fill. Once you fill this Google form, our backend team will contact you and they will give you learning management system SS or LMSSS. Now, here, this is what our LMS looks like. So here, you will have three videos every single day related to Python, SQL, data preliminaries. And once you see those videos, you will get an assessment link. Now, once you click on that assessment link, it will take you to our LinkedIn page. Here, you will have such learning assessments. Now, this so learning assessment basically are subjective in nature. What it means, you have it means that you have to write in the comment box. You have to write your answer in the comment box. Right. When you write these uh, these answers, you make yourself visible. Now we all know why we are taking you to the LinkedIn page. Now, we all know that LinkedIn is famous for recruiters actively hunting for new employees, right? They want to recruit people who are really good. And when you are posting some such question, uh, you're answering such question, you're posting something, you're actually making yourself visible. And when you make yourself visible, of course, it's win-win for both, for you as well as the recruiter, right? Now, once this part is done, you'll come back. Once this part is over, you'll come back to, uh, to the second phase. We'll start with the second phase. We'll come back to the project phase. And yes, we'll start with the project phase. Here, we'll assign an expert data scientist who has rich experience of working on real world projects, and they will guide you throughout the project. Now, there will be daily stand up meetings for 15 minutes from Monday to Friday to discuss what is done and what must be done for the next day and any risk or challenge that you have. Now, what will you learn here? You'll learn here 
whatever is in data science. Of course, what you need to do, what are the challenges you are facing. At the very same time, you learn here a very important lesson related to time management. In 15 minutes, you have to finish this meeting and you have to give you updates. Right. Now, we'll be discussing about this phase when we reach this phase. Talk about certificate of completion. Certificate is uh, now certificate is complete of, of completion will be provided to you when you complete the project successfully. So you'll be awarded an internship project completion certificate from 360 DTMG. So this is a free program and certificate is also is free. We do not charge anything before, during, or after the internship. Now this program will start from tomorrow, that is 9th November 2024. Now, talking about the certificate of completion, this is how the certificate of completion will look like. Will look like. Now, the certificate is presented to, there will be your name, there will be project name, and this is actually how it will look. Talking about the frequently asked question that we have here, that the question that students often have, we'll take those questions basically. Let's talk about completion of learning phase. Participants must complete all learning modules before moving to next task. Of course, if you don't complete the learning module, we won't be allowing you to move to the next, the next task. Now, you need to reach out for support if you need that support to interns1 at the rate 360dtmg.com. Talking about data science internship, currently only data analytics internships are available. So, you need to wait for data science internship. Talking about LMS credential issuance, LMS credentials generally may take up to 24 hour working hours to be issued. Now, we greatly appreciate your patience during this process. Talking about internship continuation in case of emergency, if you are unable to complete the internship due to work commitments or personal emergencies, please email us at interns1 at 360dtmg.com. Include any relevant documentation or proof. You will be assigned an upcoming internship. Now, let's talk about internship certificate policy. Internship certificates will be issued only upon successful completion of all required documents. Failure to meet project submission deadlines will result in ineligibility for a certificate. Now, delays in project submission are not permitted. If a deadline is missed, interns will, be, will, uh, will need to join the next project batch and complete it within the specified deadline to qualify for the certificate. Of course, we are very strict about deadlines and we actually stick to it. Right. Now, you must be thinking, this is about the project. What else can we help you in to make sure that we enhance your learning? To enhance your learning, let me take you to our beautiful website. Now, this is how our website looks like. Popular courses, domain analytics, all videos, about us, of course, career transition, you can see, right? Well, just let's explore this website a bit. Successful career transition, and of course, our, our, our alumni work at the big, big companies. Let's talk about learning resources. Once we go to learning resources, of course, there's a plethora of learning here. Let's go to core learning resources. Once you're here, you can go to digital learning library, where you can get access to this book, of course, digital book, and you will actually read it a lot, read it completely, right? You can read it completely and you can gain a lot of knowledge. Of course, more you revise, better it would be, right? There will be better internalization of concepts and of course, the terminologies, lingo, all those things. Now, when you talk about, when we are talking about uh, making a project architecture, of course, when you're doing project, you'll be doing making project architecture from end to end, right from data sources to the end user device, right? Now, this is for beginner. We have it for intermediate too. And at the very same time, we have some, for someone who's having advanced knowledge, right? Now, when we talk about this, it will be really, really useful. Now think of it, you have this advanced knowledge of making a complete process architecture. You know how this project architecture actually works, right? Complete architecture, right from one end to the another end, right? Including CI, CD pipelines and all. That is just advanced knowledge. That is just advanced level stuff. And you will understand it from here. 
how it actually works, right? Of course, you can make such project architecture too. Let me take you to the data skills assessment. Of course, we have data skills, ass skills assessment. You can optimize your resume in mm -hmm. RO Hub, or we call it Resume Optimization Hub, where you can go and compare your resume with the job description you have. You have talent connection portal where you can connect connect with employers for the open positions we have, right? Also, let's talk about conceptual understanding inside pool learning. Here we have mind maps. Now, mind maps are really good way to revise whatever concept you have, whatever concept we, we have. And it's really, really good for internalization of those concepts. Now, let me go to this mind map. And uh, you can see which we talk about business understanding, data understanding, all those things, right? Data preparation, model building, you can just go through all these things once. And uh, of course, we actually, in our sessions every single day, we actually insist our students to go through it thrice uh, a day, every single day. Now, talking about Python program fundamentals, of course, you will have uh, mind maps for all the subjects that are uh, possible here, right? And whatever subject or topics we deal with. That was mind map. You can have project uh, innovative showcase. You can read about the projects that we have done, different, different projects, of course, insights and achievements, all those things you can read about. Now, we have animated insight series too, where you can read all these things and actually make yourself better with every passing day. Now, this is about the website. Once you go to our YouTube channel, for example, let's go to our YouTube channel. You'll see there are a plethora of videos for you. For example, let me take you to, of course, if you go to the home directly, we are having YouTube live as of now. And of course, you can see our placement success stories and all. You can hear about the participants. You can talk to, you can talk to a participant, connect to them, of course, on uh, LinkedIn. Let me take you to the playlist section. Now, playlist section, we have various videos basically related to, uh, again, generative AI, Python, there are various webinars, leadership talks, right, with industrial experts. And uh, again, resume building session project, uh, again, databases and uh, related to domain analytics. We have so many things here, right? Now, this is all about the playlist we have. And you can come here and learn a lot, right? Everything is for free. Of course, we all know it's YouTube. And yes, you can come here and visit and uh, learn a lot, right? Now, let me go back and revise about whatever we had discussed. Now, if we talk about this free internship by 3CD10G, of course, we'll have two phases here. First phase will be learning phase. That will be, uh, you'll be revising Python, SQL, or data preliminaries. And of course, you will be clicking on assessment to go to the LinkedIn page we have. And of course, you will be answering those assessment, assessment uh, questions. At the very same time, what you have to do to get the LMSSs, you just have to fill the Google form that will be posted in your community, right? And you have to fill it. Once you fill that form, our backend team will contact you. You will get as LMSSs within 24 hours, right? And uh, part two, as of phase two of this project, that is the project phase, we shall assign an expert data scientist who has rich experience of working on real world projects and they will guide you throughout the project. And there will be daily stand up meetings for 15 minutes, that's from Monday to Friday, to discuss what is done and what must be done for next day and any risk or challenges that you have. And we shall discuss this when we reach this phase, right? Upon completion of certificate, upon completion, sorry, completion of the project successfully, you will be awarded an internship project completion certificate from CCCDMG. This is a free program and certificate also is free. And uh, that's of course from CCCDMG. This is a free program and certificate also is free. We do not charge anything before, during or after the internship. This program will start from tomorrow, that is 9-11-2024. So this is how the certificate of completion will look like. Right, so yes, so this is it from RSIT. We'll meet again next week with a new project. And yes, what are you waiting for team? Sign up for this project. And yes, you'll learn a lot. There'll be a plethora of learning for you. It is really exciting project. And yes, you will be in a position to show this that 
show your work that yes you have worked on this right so sign in uh, with the google form uh, team and yes let's start with the project right so we'll meet with uh, next project of course we'll meet uh, with, we'll meet with uh, another project next week and yes till that time enjoy your weekend enjoy your week thank you so much for your time